Thank you everyone for joining us on this area management training. We are going to be focusing on the new registration process, which we have talked about before. And this one is part two. So there's a couple things in this section that we haven't talked about in the last one. Um, we wanna thank Amerisher for making it possible for us to host this training. So um, we understand that this new registration process is going to take some time getting used to. Um, we're here to help your worry, ease your worries and um, hopefully get rid of any confusion. We're gonna share an, the instructional video of the part two as well as um, there's some written instructions that we can send after this. After learning about the new registration process, we'll show you how um, to see which athletes are up to date on forms and different ways to get the new COVID-19 code of conduct and risk assessment form to your areas. A couple options for that as well. So we'll start with the new sections of the registration process. We'll show you guys the full registration process instruction video part two, which is on our website and on YouTube. Um, we also will talk about how to see if athletes are up to date and getting that updated return to play forms from your areas. So with the new registration process, we're gonna talk about the new parts first. The one of the new sections that we added is qualifying score. And for state summer games, we are not requiring qualifying scores because we know in-person practices are, um, not happening just yet. But for registrations in the future, you will need to enter qualifying scores as you would in GMS normally. And these are needed when you're participating in individual sports. For team sports, you have the three score rule um, often or usually without COVID. And um, that is on the website. So only need qualifying score for those individual sports. But there is a couple formats that you can use. There's different ones. Um, and we need you to use these exact formats for these scores in order to have it uploaded into GMS the correct way. So the distance format, this is when a score relates to a distance measured, um, either an item or a person, and how far that goes in for the event. Um, it's measured in meters. And it's measured from the starting point to the ending point. One foot equals 0 0.3048 meters. And I know that's really difficult to kind of understand. There's, you can convert it by dividing by 3.28, or we can show you if you go to Google and then convert from inches or feet to meters. You can type in how many, say it was five feet and how many meters that is comes up. So that'll help you. And the format is 0, 0, 0.0 meters. It is this first bullet right here. That's how you want to upload it, how you enter it into the Excel document for registration if it's a distance measured score. So this would be like for field events, softball throw, um, things like that, standing long jump, running long jump. It's always measured in meters. And um, there's an example down here to show you kind of how that's going to look like when you're typing it in. And we'll also show you an example on the video. The next format that you could be using to um, submit a score is in a timing format. This is when uh, an athlete is timed to see how long it takes them to complete an event, often usually races, um, either with swimming or athletics. Um, that's going to be formatted, as you can see on this top bullet. So it is zero, zero, those two dots, zero, zero, point zero. And that's minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Um, you use a stopwatch to measure it. You can use your phones, whatever you would normally use at practice to measure how long it takes them to finish that event. Um, and there's an example down here, just a made up time for what it could be read. And this example would read as three minutes, 24 seconds and 33 milliseconds. And that would be what you would enter as your qualifying score for that timed event.
for the registration process, the team name, that's the next new section. Team name is needed when athletes are participating in team sports or relays. There's two ways to format the name. You've been doing this in GMS for a long time, but just to go over that one more time for sports such as um, basketball, volleyball, the full teams, you're going to have your area number and then the team name. So some examples, these are actual examples from past events is like area 05 Bulldogs, A23 Northwest Arc. Wolverines and A28 Thundering Herd. So always an A, your area number and that team name for that. Which of course you can have whatever team name you would like. I know we often have a lot of Bulldogs and a lot of Hurricanes. <laughs> the next format is going to be used for relays and things like this upcoming Bocce's Double. Um, we do need team names for the Bocce's Doubles teams and for the beach volleyball as well, actually. So for that set first section, but for this, you're gonna do your area. So A, your area number, and then the last names of the athletes that or participants that are participating in that event. For relays, um, you can see there's four names because relays are four people. This would be for regular relays with traditional athletes and also unified relays. So you can see that Area seven has the four last names and you're going to register all members of the relay team with the same team name. You do need to add every member if there's a relay. Um, for this event, there is no relays at this point, but you will include every single person's name and register every person. For that bocce doubles, it's the same thing, but we only have two people since it's a doubles. And again, you're gonna make sure that you register both athletes using the same team name. And you have to remember to always include your area number in the team name because that helps not only us with connecting um, the teams with the areas, but also you when you're trying to find where areas are, what time they play or anything like that. So we will show the instruction video part two. You may have watched this as we sent it out with the registration information, but we will show it to you again. Is everyone able to hear this? When I play it, Jill, Julia, I haven't pressed play, but I need you to know. Can you not hear that? It's really, really low. Okay, let me see what I can do to turn it up. It's very faint. Yes, I'm trying to turn it up. Okay, I don't think I can turn it up anymore, but um, it is on the website, so we'll have to make do with what we have right now and hopefully it gets louder as it goes. Let's see if I can add. Thank you for joining us. There we go. Instruction part two video. So I hope that you've watched the part one video and we're gonna be covering some of that stuff again in this video as well as some new stuff that we haven't covered. Just as we did in the first video, we are using an event and true document. This one is for state summer games. So the sports will be for state summer games. Just as in the past, we have this example tab at the bottom that has written out instructions on how to complete this document, as well as example athletes and coaches. If you go to the event import tab, this is where you will be completing your delegations information. Then we have athletics, bocce, and beach volleyball as the sports for our state summer games. So these tabs not only include the events that you can choose from, but also their codes that will be needed when entering an event. So back to our example tab. You can see the first section is this owner section. 
You need to leave this blank as it is for state office use only. And we have grayed it out for your convenience so that you remember that this can stay blank. You do not need to fill it in. You do not put anything in this section. The next section is the role section. And this can be A for athlete, C for coach, B for volunteer chaperone, or O for other person, which could also be bus drivers or other roles that you would like to attend the event. So if you go to the event import tab, this is a drop down menu. So you will click on the arrow. You can select which choice, or you can use the up and down arrow on your keypad on your computer and either press by clicking on it or by pressing enter. And that will be inserted into that box. So the next sections are first name, last name, gender, and date of birth. To get this information the most accurate, you'll go to GMS, log in to your area's account, go to find people by personal data, and then you can type it into the family name section. So we'll use an example. And here you can see the exact spelling of the last name, first name, date of birth, and the gender. And that's what you're going to want to add. So you'll match that up and type it into the event import tab. Gender is also a drop down menu of male and female, M and F. You can either click on it, or this is a section where you can type it in. But if you try to type it in with this full spelling, an error message will occur. And this is nothing to be scared of, but you can just use the drop down menu. It just means that it's not one of the options that we offer in that section. So after you've double checked with GMS, make sure that you have the correct information. The next sections are coach's name and coach's phone number. This should be the name of the coach attending the event and the cell phone number that's best to get in contact with them during competition. So if something were to occur day of the competition, we want the phone number there that will be the best to get a hold of them. Do not put home phone numbers as that could not get to them. So we want it to be a cell phone number that they can have easy access to at the event. The next section is delegation. This can also be known as area, group. There's a few different names for this. So when you're typing this in, what you want to do is go to GMS. We showed you in the past video that you can use this drop down menu, press these arrows, and you'll have a list of your options. But what you can also do is if you go into an athlete's profile, and you look on this group section and at times the additional groups, you'll find the group name, delegation name that best fits for that athlete. And then you'll type that in right here in the delegation section. You want the spelling to match exactly, so make sure that you're double checking with GMS. The next section is the sports section. The sport is the, the sport that that person is competing in. You don't need it to be filled in for coaches, as we will know from the requirements. If you go to the event import tab, this is also a drop down menu. And this does say volleyball instead of beach volleyball, but it is the same sport. So select what you want, and then you move on. The next section is event code one. These are the um, events within each sport and the codes that directly connect with that event. These codes are very important. They must be exactly what we have in GMS. You can find that in the tabs. These are the exact codes that we want you to use. Or if you go to the event import tab, 
you can see we've also added all of the codes into that section as well. So you can either use your mouse to scroll and find what's needed, or you can use the up and down arrow and press enter or click on the code. You can also insert it by highlighting all of the codes, pressing copy, and this is best if you have a lot of athletes being entered in the same one, same events, if you don't want to keep flipping back and forth, and then you can paste it into the side and it'll be available for you right there. And then all you have to do is delete it when you're done. The next section is qualifying score. So for qualifying score, it is not needed for this event specifically, but if you have it available, you can enter it in this document. For team sports, it is not needed. We have the three game scores that are on the website. Again, it's not needed. So for the formatting, for distance scores, such as you can see for this track and field, it is 4.5 meters. That's what you're going to want to do. It is 0, 0, 0, 0.0 for meters. I am highlighting up here at the top the correct formatting for the scores. 0, 0, 0, 0.0 meters for distance events, things that need to be measured in the distance. For scores for races or things that need to be timed, the time format is zero, zero minutes, zero, zero seconds, zero, zero milliseconds. So minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. As you can see here, it would be 45 seconds for this 100 meter or 20.04 seconds for this The next new section that we have is Team 1. This is the team name for Team Sports and Relays. So the section of this is a little different. Um, again, it's only needed for Team Sports. You can see for bocce doubles and for volleyball team, the names are different. We want to do it like you have in the past from GMS. So for bocce doubles or relays or things like that, you would put your area, so in this example, A15, and then the last names of those athletes. In this case, it's Plum and Smith. If there was a relay and there was four people, you would put all four names here, four last names. So if you're adding a volleyball team or any other team sports such as that, you will use the team name that we have used as area and then the team name. So in this instance, it would be A08 Warriors. If you have multiple teams, you can add all of your teams, making sure that if they're all on the same team, they all have the same team name. And then you can add the second team after that with any other team names needed. So after that, for you would continue for event code 2 if available or event code 3 and qualifying score and team if needed. And then at the end is this process and processing log. These are again also for state use only, so you do not need to use Leave them blank, and we at the state office will handle them. So you can see here, this is where qualifying score would go if needed, the team names, and so on. We have also added this tab for this event specifically, a form of transportation. So when you turn in this registration, you will select it, whether if that person is coming in a bus or a van or if your area is coming in a bus or a van. And if you do not know, 
answer to the best of your ability on what is most likely to occur. When you have completed this, you have entered all of your people into this event import tab. You will then send it to your regional forms email, which can be found right below here. So for Northern and UK areas, it is SOMIFORMS at SOMI.org. For Southwest areas, it's SW.FORMS at SOMI.org. And for Southeast areas, it's SE.FORMS at SOMI. So now we're going to be going through some examples. I will clear this to give us a fresh start. And so we will start with role. I'm going to be entering an athlete. So I will select A with the first name, last name, gender, and date of birth. I'm going to check with my GMS by searching the person's name and pressing search. Because this is a made up person, I have compared it to their profile. I will add their coach's name and the coach's phone number. Their delegation name, which I have found from this drop down menu, we will use area five. And for this sport, I'm going to use athletics. So I don't know the athletics codes off the top of my head. I'm going to go to the athletics tab, highlight it all right click to copy and then go back to the event import tab scroll over and paste you want to make sure that this is on the outside of the processed and processing logs because it could mess up format if you add it in here so off to the side is the best bet for where you want to put that so then you go to the event code one click the drop down menu we will have this person entered in the 100, the 200, and the 400. If you have qualifying scores, you can enter it. I will say that this athlete does in fact have qualifying scores. Please don't mess with the format of this section because it is set up so that you can type in exactly that format and it won't auto correct or change and there will be nothing that can be messed up. So by using my time format for scores, I'm going to enter, we did it in zero minutes, 30 seconds, and zero milliseconds. For the 200, we'll say that he did it in one minute, 15 seconds, Point two, And for the 400, we'll say that it was actually three minutes and five seconds. And that person, we are having our area use the transportation of a bus. So moving on. You can add next another athlete. We'll save this. And as I'm going through entering these people, I'm always double checking GMS to make sure the spelling and the date of birth and everything is exactly the same. They have the same coach, which it will auto insert that name if they are exactly the same. Same with delegation name. So if you are using a different delegation name, be sure to make sure that that's different. 
so they are also in athletics. I can scroll over to see what events they are, the codes are. So we will have them in the 100, the 200, and the running long jump. Now we'll say that Sarah doesn't have qualifying scores for the races, but she does know her qualifying score for running long jump. This is a distance measure score. So we will say that she did it in two meters. You always wanna measure in meters. She's also traveling on the bus. So to give some examples of team names, we can show you some another athlete. We'll say this is And this is a new sport, so it's a new coach. But also with Area 5, they are going to be entered in the same delegation. And I will do bocce. So, for that bocce, we are going to go to the bocce. You can copy if needed, going back. You can either place it below or instead of this by deleting that. They are going to be bocce doubles so that it is a team. And for this team name, we will say that it is area, that is the wrong section, area 05, Matthews, and and then their team name is Hunter. Sense Bocce, you can also do singles, you can also enter the singles code here, that is up to your area. Remember that you want to be entering your coaches too. So we could enter Sally enter her birthday. You don't need coach's name or coach's phone number. You could also add delegation. If you want to add coach's phone number, there you can. It's their own phone number that you're going to want to add. And same with the other coach. So just make sure that you're adding volunteers and coaches as well. For team sports such as beach volleyball, you will enter your athletes, uh, everyone that is on the team. is volleyball. There's only one code, so I think I can remember it. But again, if you need to, you can copy and paste it in. No need for qualifying score. The team name for this is going to be Area 05 Hurricanes. And you want to add everyone in 
underneath them with that area zero five hurricanes. One thing you can do is if you click on this bottom right corner, you can drag it down without letting go of the mouse and it will fill it in. What you can also do is right click, press copy, highlight as many boxes down as it goes depending on how big the team is, and then right click and paste and it will also give You can do it by dragging it down or the copy and paste. It's really up to you. So then once you have everyone done, everyone entered, all athletes, all coaches, all volunteers, all other person roles, everyone that could possibly be attending this event, you've entered their form of transportation, whether it all be on a bus, if they're planning to come separately in a van, however you think that, that your area is going to be traveling to this event, you then will send it to your regional forms email down below here. I'm going to make it bigger for you as well. So again, Northern and UP areas, send it to so many forms at somi.org. Southwest areas, send it to sw.forms at somi.org. And Southeast areas, send it to se.forms at somi.org. You can also email those emails if you have any questions at all about this process. If you have any questions on how to enter, who to enter, what to enter, we're always here to help you. Thank you for being on this video with us. Have a great day.